All right. Well, what's up, everybody? Grim Green back here today. I, I think I'm finally ready to talk about the new K-Fun Lite that just came out here in 2019. And just as a little bit of a backstory, if you're not familiar with me or why I care so much about this, I'm a huge fan of the K-Fun tanks. I got a K-Fun Lite Plus way back in the day, back in 2010, and I've literally been using it ever since. For me, it is the the the, the un, unquestioned king of mouth to lung RTAs. It's the gold standard that I hold all other mouth to lung RTAs up to. I'm a very, very big fan of this little tank right here. Then in 2019, Svomesto just kind of surprised everybody uh, and just released a new K-Fun. There was no hype train, there was no fanfare, there were no teasers or anything released. It was just like, nope, here, here's a brand new awesome 24 millimeter K fun. There's a 22 and a 24 millimeter. Today I'm just going to be using the 24 millimeter because that's all I have. Oh, and it's good. And before we get to, you know, uh, I'm going to rinse this out. We're going to re wick it. I'm going to show you how to build it. Before we get to any of that stuff, I just want to say this K fun light has not let me down in any way. It's almost exactly what I wanted from a brand new K fun. And it still vapes. It still vapes like a K-Fun should. <laughs> and this K-Fun is in dire need of a re-wicking. So that's what we're gonna do right now. Then we're gonna go wash this out. So first things first, the number one gripe that I hear everybody kind of talking about, and I apologize if it's echoey in here, but you know, I did need to clean it out. I am in my bathroom. The number one gripe that I hear from kind of everybody about the new K-Fun is, yeah, it's a bottom fill. It's a bottom fill, but they kind of did that for a reason. It allows them to do the bell cap and it allows you to have access to your build deck with a full tank. Now, if I have one gripe with this K-Fun Lite 2019, it's unscrewing the build deck out of here. You kind of have to grab this little metal portion right here, and then this little metal portion right here. You can see the seam right here. That's what needs to separate, and you have to use like your fingertips to get it. And if you have screwed this in here, maybe just a hair too tight, it's just gonna be all that more difficult to unscrew this. But, yeah, it should come out. You know, you kind of get a little bit of a feel for it. You know how snug to get that in there so that you'll be able to unscrew it as well. So I'm just gonna unscrew this and we're gonna re-wick it. These coils, or this coil in here and these wicks are probably gonna look, <gasps> ooh, bad, oh, bad. So bad, dire, dire need of re-wicking right there. And one thing you might be able to notice on this K-Fun deck is it's very traditional K-Fun deck, but the whole base of this is sort of like concave, right? And what that's gonna do is literally allow you to vape every last droplet of juice out of your tank. All the juice sitting here on the base here, it's gonna be directed right to where it needs to go. I, I think that's kind of an amazingly brilliant move right there. Now the rest of the K-Fun tanks have always been in multiple, multiple parts, and this one is absolutely no different. There's like a chimney piece here, you have your glass here, and then you have your top cap here. And it is a small little 510 drip tip there. Ugh, I am legitimately grossed out right now. I can't believe I was vaping this. Well, now that all the parts are clean, let's get back to the desk and wick this thing. So, boosh, these are all the parts of the K-Fun. This is your chimney right here, and this is the little chimney extender. This is just a small, tiny little metal piece that screws onto the chimney, that extends the chimney so you can use a longer glass. If you're gonna use the short little bubble glasses, you would take this off. If you're gonna use what I'm using, this top cap and this glass, you're gonna put it on. So then yeah, there is your deck and you can kind of see that concave base on the bottom there. You can kind of see, yeah, that's exactly how you're gonna be capturing your leads. I'm not gonna rebuild this because I've rebuilt K-Funds 8,000 times on video. In fact, I'll put a link down in the description to my other K-Fun Lite Plus video that I did. It's essentially the same thing as well as like 
the K-Fun 5 or the K-Fun Prime. They all get built the same way. You have two little set screws right there. You just make sure that one lead is going off in one direction, one lead's going off in the other direction. You set it in, you screw those down. Couldn't be easier. And now I'm just gonna wick it up real fast, which should be is equally as easy. Gonna be using Cotton Bacon Prime today. I already tore off a strip and kind of already threaded it through the coil you want it to have, you know, some resistance to it, kind of back and forth. You don't want it to be so tight that it's going to get your coils all out of whack and you don't want it to be too loose because that can actually lead to dry hits and flooding, which is crazy. The way that I wick the K-Fun is I just take my scissors, go right up here to the base of the deck right here and just trim it off. Same thing right there, base of the deck, trim it off. And then if you look underneath your wicks, you see there's going to be two little cups right there that your wicks are going to go into on both sides. There's just two little cups right there for your wicks to kind of sit in. I feel like this is going to be difficult to show you on camera, but I'm going to just show you the technique that I use to get this K-Fun wicked. Now, what you don't want to do is just take your scissors and jam the cotton down in that little cup. You can kind of see on this side, you want your cotton to bend over so that the flat part that you just cut off is sitting kind of flat against the bottom here. And there's really only one way I've found to do this, and I'm gonna to try to do this in one single motion, but I use my thumb and my scissors to kind of position it into place. So this is difficult. The first thing I'm gonna do is press this, press this cotton down with my thumb, and then I'm gonna lift it up with the scissors, and then when the edge gets to the edge, and you can't see this happening, but you can feel it, you kind of press it down with your thumb, just like that. And then you can come back in here with your scissors and kind of press anything else back down. In order to fill it, we do have to remove it from the mod because it is a bottom fill. And then you unscrew this right here and we're gonna see our deck again. There it is. I'm gonna take my 12 milligram water Malone and just bleh, just fill it up. The bottle made a funny sound. You just want it tight enough to just hold on there. So yeah, it's all built and wicked and filled. It just looks like a fucking beautiful tank. Aesthetically, I just think this tank is the prettiest. And as a man, I'm okay using the word prettiest because this tank is fucking pretty. So I think we know what we need to do. It's time to vape this now. I really feel like I can't stress this enough. I'm just a huge fan of the K-Fun. Like, intense fan of the K-Fun. So when I discovered that Sfomesto was releasing a new K-Fun in 2019, my anticipation levels were sky through the fucking roof. Yeah, you still have to fill it in the bottom, but I don't care. That's not a con to me. I will gladly, gladly put up with filling it from the bottom, which you don't do very often. As I said before, with mouth to lung and this tank, you're not gonna be filling this up. I've gone, I mean, excessively using this, like exclusively, I've gone like two days without having to refill this. You just, you just don't use that much liquid. And like I said, I will gladly trade off that bottom fill for those dope like bell caps. This, the Ultim one they call fire, the clear one they call crystal. I have the Ultim one that I don't love. I am waiting with bated breath for that crystal bell cap to come back into stock because I will be buying multiples of them. I think it's the slickest look for a tank and honestly, the only way to get that look for a tank is to have a bottom fill. Another thing that I really can't stress enough about this K-Fun is the construction on it is just primo, top tier, high quality construction. All of the threading, flawless. All of the fit and finish, flawless. It's machined out of stainless steel. The bell caps are a three and a half mil capacity, but this way, the way that I have it set up like right now, this is a five mil capacity, which again, five mil capacity, mouth to lung, you're talking about a day, maybe longer of exclusive vaping with this where you're not going to need to refill it. So now let's get down to the real important part. How? How does the new K-Fun Lite vape? 
if there was ever going to be any question to that, amazing. It va awesome. It vapes exactly like a K fund does, which is to say it vapes fucking awesome. Sorry, I'm I don't know why like the obscenities are just flying out these days. So I apologize for that. But it is. It vapes great. Uh, you can adjust the airflow, although I find no need to fully open. The K fund light has always had my basically perfect mouth to lung airflow. It's a little bit open, but not too open. It's a little bit tight, but not too tight. It's just in that like meaty part of the curve that I love so much. Mmm. It, it's so beautiful. The airflow is so great. It, the flavor is K-Fun level flavor. We've heard about K-Fun level flavor. This is K-Fun level flavor. So let's wrap this up. Let's get down to brass tacks. Are you gonna need your vape budget hands for the K-Fun light? Yeah. 100% yeah you will it's available on a for sale across the rest of the world and Europe and it's almost 90 bucks it's 89 bucks I mean this is this is an expensive RTA now if we're gonna play the aliens game or the FDA game where they come and take all my stuff I mean yes without hesitation yes I would buy this again the FDA and the aliens could come like five times and take all of my stuff like five times where I'm just really guys Really? I would buy this tank every single time. Every single time I would buy this tank. I would buy this tank five times over because I love mouth to lung. I love the K-Fun. This is the mouth to lung that I want to vape. Anyway, that's what I got for today, everybody. Links aren't allowed in the description, so you're going to have to use your Google Foo, but thank you so much for watching. And as always, let's keep on vaping, guys.